Praise the Lord, everybody. Welcome, welcome again to Spirit of Excellence Praying and Teaching Ministry with Prophetess Charlene Miles Price. This is the day the Lord has made. I'm rejoicing. I'm glorifying him and I'm lifting him up. Praise God to whom all blessings flow. Thanking, praising God today for his mercy. Thanking God today for Good Friday Resurrection Holiday Weekend. Praise God today for his death, his burial, and his resurrection. Thank God that he got up out the grave on the third day. Amen for my salvation, for your salvation, for your deliverance and my deliverance and my breakthrough. I'm giving God the praise and the glory and the honor. Today, today I want to say thank you, Jesus, because he is worthy to be praised. For the month of April, we've been doing a thankful to God powerful, powerful challenge. Thank you, powerful challenge. You know, it's power in the in, in the word of God. There's also power in thank you. Amen. We're going to talk about that day, the, today, the power in thank you. We're going to talk about today, gratitude. Amen. Thanking God today. Father, in Jesus' name, I decrease now that you may increase in me the hope of glory. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight. Father, I thank you and I praise you and I exalt your name, the name that's above every name. And that E is the name of Jesus. Lord, I want to thank you. I want to praise you. I want to glorify you. I want to lift you up. I want to thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your love and kindness. Thank you for salvation today. Thank you for deliverance and breakthrough in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Before we go into the message today, we're going to talk about thank you. The topic today is thank you. Thank God today for the blood of Jesus that never loses power. Thank God today for the cross. Thank God for his birth and his resurrection because if he hadn't been born, we could not have had a resurrection. So we thank God today for it all in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I want somebody to know today, praise God, the prophet is released today is God is an on time God. God is on time, all the time and every time. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. The prophet of release also is that God has a blessing with your name on it. Glory be to God. God has a blessing with your name on it. God has your deliverance with your name on it. He has your breakthrough with your name on it. He has your healing with your name on it. Whatever you desire today and according to his perfect will and his will. So be it unto you today. It's according to your faith. Amen. Today, somebody needs to know that God has your answer. God has answered your prayer, but he does not answer your complaints. But God has answered your prayer. So I'm thankful today for God is answering prayer. Amen. Thank God. And God is on time all the time. And I want to say thank you. I want to say thank you, Jesus, for the death, the burial, and the resurrection. I can't say thank you enough. If it had not been for the Lord on our side. Where will we be today? Thank God today we're still here. Thank God today we're here to see another resurrection weekend. Thank God we're here to, hallelujah, to witness hallelujah, the glorious of God, the wonders of God. He is adorable. Hallelujah. He is magnificent. He is awesome. Praise God. I'm talking about the name, the name, the name, the name, and the name is the name that's above every name, and that is the name of Jesus. Amen. We're talking today about thank you. Hallelujah. We want to tell God thank you. Amen. We want to say thank you to you and and you and you for being a part of Spirit of Excellence Praying and Teaching Ministry. We are a ministry designed with you and in mind, and we are a ministry on the move for Jesus Christ. Amen. This song is by Expressions, hallelujah, of faith. No, it's not Expressions of Faith. It's Tammy Edwards and the Edwards sisters. You know, I love the Expressions of Faith too. Amen. Praise God. They're a powerful group also. Praise God. But this song is by Tammy Edwards. Praise God. And praise God. It's talking about an on time God. Amen. We're going to have this. We're going to go in. We're going to do what God say. And we're going to get out of your way. God is on time. I know for myself. God is on time. On time. How do I know? Is he on time? Yes, God is on time. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Invite someone. Please share. Please post. Please, please, please. Like and love. Call you share this live if it's been encouraging to you. Share this broadcast with somebody. Spirit of Excellence Praying and Teaching Ministry. Prophet is Charlie Miles Christ. You know, you know, you know. I love you, love you, love you. In Jesus' mighty name. God will step right in. On time, on time. Say it one more time. God will step right in. Right in. Yes, on time. Yes, he will. Yes. Do you know for yourself? I know for myself. 
Yes. On time. On time. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh my God. Yes, 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 yes. There's no reason to give up. No, not at all. Pick up the pieces, somebody. Pick up your pieces. Repent of your sins. Repent of your sins. Today's your day of salvation. Yes. God won't leave you alone. I know for myself, God will step right in on time. I'm a witness. I'm a witness. Yes, yes. You step right in. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. If somebody agree? He will step in on time. Depressing times. Oppression. When you're weak, when you're tired, God will step in on time. Yes, he will. Just to carry on. Carry on. Thank you, Jesus, for strength today. Know who you're serving. We're serving Jesus Christ. The Lord of Lord and the King of Kings. Greater is he. Greater is he. Mm. Great as he does in me, great as he does in you, than he does in the world. God will step right in. Yes, he will. I believe it. Do you believe it? Yes, I believe God. God will step right in on time. He's stepping right on time. He's stepping into your situation. He's moving in your situation. Glory be to God. Come on, somebody. Let's go to church. Come on. On time. Somebody need a miracle. Somebody need a breakthrough. There's a blessing today with your name on it. Glory be to God. God will step right in. In on time. Come on, somebody. Help me. Help me lift them up. Let's take him higher. Let's magnify him. His name is Jesus. On time. Good God of mine. Woo! This resurrection weekend. How he got up out the grave on time. Yes. He will step right in. In on, in on time. Yes, he will. Yes, I believe it. I know he will. Yes. He will step right in. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Let's praise him a little longer. Let's praise him. Give me a few more minutes to praise him. Then we're going to go into the mess today. The so mess today is thank you. Thank you, Jesus. The mess today is thank you. Thank you, Jesus. For stepping in on time. Good God of mine. Come on, somebody. Help me preach. Help me evangelize. Help me let somebody know today that God is on time. Yes, Lord. I feel it. I feel it. I feel it in my sanctified soul. God is on time. He will step in. Mm. Yes, Lord. Yeah, I'm feeling it too. Yes. Yes. Let's stop right there. God will step in on time. Amen. Praise God. That's for someone today that need God to do something in your life. Amen. He will step in on time. God knows the perfect time. Hallelujah to bless you. He knows the perfect time to hear you. He knows the perfect time to give you your deliverance and your breakthrough. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. To glory be to God. Isaiah 26 and 3 said, trust in the Lord. Hallelujah talks about that I will keep thee in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee because he trusted in thee. Glory be to God. I thank God today for the word of God, the word of God that has the power, that has the deliverance to set the captives free today. Amen. We're talking about thank you. Thanking, thank you, thank you, thank you. We're talking about thanking you, thanking you, thanking Jesus, thanking you. Here we're going to see here in the scripture, we're talking about the 10 lepers. It was 10 lepers, praise God. I'm going to read the scriptures coming from Luke chapter 17, verses 11 through the 19th verse. Verses 11 of, Saint of Luke 17, 
chapter 17, 11 for the 19th verse. Do you mind me reading out of the ESV version today? Do you mind? I praise God to you today. We're coming from the ESV version, praise God. On the way to Jerusalem, on the way to Jerusalem, he was passing along between Samaria and Galilee. And he entered a village. He was met. He was met. He was met by 10 lepers. Who was met by 10 lepers? Jesus was met by 10 lepers. Who stood at a distance. Stood at a distance because leprosy was a disease that was a very contagious disease. They could not be in society. They was isolated. But for some reasons, as they as he entered into the village, he was met by 10 lepers who stood at a distance and lifted up their voices. Glory be to God, at a distance. Not even up on, clo not up on close, but at a distance. Saying, Jesus, Master. Look at this. Jesus, Master. Amen. They acknowledged who he was. They acknowledged that he was God Almighty. Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. Amen. Today, I'm asking God to have mercy on me. Have mercy on us. Have mercy on us is a prayer. Amen. They was petitioning God to have mercy on them. Amen. They were sick. Amen. With leprosy. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And they needed God to have mercy on them. So they asked God to say, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. And when he saw them, when Jesus saw them, he said to them, Amen. Look at this. Look at this. When God comes into your situation, praise God, he comes with instructions. Amen. When God comes into your life, he comes with direction. He comes with something to say. Amen. Glory be to God. God is saying something today. Amen. God is saying something today to you and I. On the way to Jerusalem, he was passing alone. Amen. Between Samaria and Galilee. And as he entered the village, he was met by 10 lepers who stood a distance and lifted up their voices. Amen. There is blessings when we lift up our voices and praise God. The Bible said that everything that have breath, praise the Lord. Amen. Praise God. There's blessings when you open up your mouth. Praise God and begin to praise and magnify the Lord. Somebody. Praise God. Psalms 34 says, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continue to be in my mouth. Oh, magnify the Lord with me, somebody. Let us exalt his name together. I'm trying to get through this scripture. And he says, Jesus, master, have mercy on us. And when he saw them, when Jesus saw them, Lord, I thank God today that Jesus see you. I thank today, today that God not, not only see you, but God knows your name. Amen. We're talking about thank you today. Thank God today that God knows my name. Thank God that God know who I am. Thank God today that God knew their voices. Amen. When he saw them, he said unto them, say to them, didn't lay any hands on them. Amen. Didn't say anything, any, 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 any of that. He said, go. Oh my God. Somebody need to know today, go and show thyself. Go show yourselves to the priest. Good God Almighty. God didn't lay no hands. Praise God. He said, go and show yourself to the priest. And as they went, they were clean. Somebody need to know today, as you are going about your day, as you are on your way, God is cleansing in you. Somebody need to know today that God is creating in you a clean heart, oh God, and a right spirit, hallelujah, in you. If you want a clean heart, God can give you a clean heart today. Amen, hallelujah. And as they went, they were cleansed. Amen. They didn't stand in no line. He didn't lay no hands on them or nothing like that. All they said was, Master, have mercy on us. And he saw them from a distance. And he said to them, he spoke. Jesus spoke and it came into existence. In Genesis, we see God spoke and there was light. God spoke and there was day. God spoke and there was man. God spoke it. What are you speaking today? Glory be to God. I'm speaking faith. I'm speaking victory. I'm speaking deliverance, power, and breakthrough and deliverance. What are you speaking today? And Jesus said, go and show yourselves to the priest. And as they went, this is powerful. As they went, they were cleansed. As they went, as they went about their day. What am I saying today? Amen. You need to continue to go about your day. Continue to go about your activities if you can. Amen. Praise God. If you are sick today, I want you to know today that God is a healer. healer. Amen. All sickness is not unto death. Some sickness is that God be glorified in the midst of you. How do you can get, he can get the glory out of your life. He was getting glory out of these, these lepers' lives. 
And then one of them, look at this. This is what got me. It was 10 that said, have mercy. It was 10 of them. And it says, and then one of them, one of them, only one. Can God find one in your city? Can God find one in the United States? Can God find one in, in, in Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, et cetera, California, wherever you may be? Can God find you? Can God find you? Can God find you and you be the one that say thank you? And when he saw, and then he said, they went and cleared, and then one of them, when he saw, he was healed. When he noticed, he was healed. He was going about his way. He was going to the priest as usual. Praise God, doing what he do. Amen. And then all of a sudden, he noticed that he was healed. God didn't touch him. God didn't even lay hands on him. He just said, go to the priest and show yourself to the priest. And as they were going, there's a process. Sometimes healing takes a process. Sometimes God does a miracle. Amen. But sometimes healing takes time. And as they went, they were. he was healed. He said, when they, when they saw that they were here, they had to see it. You have to see and know, praise God, that God is answered your prayer. You have to know that you know that you know without a shadow of doubt that God is able to do the exceedingly in your life. Not just the exceedingly and the beyond and the abundant, but he wants to do great things in your life and he's doing great things in your life. He's already healed you. You are delivered and you are set free. It so be according to your faith. And he turned back. One of them, when he saw, one of them, one of them, it said one of them, when he saw, he was healed. When one of them saw, he was healed. I don't know what the rest of them done. But when that one knows that he was healed, he began to praise God. With a loud voice. How, when was the last time you praised God with a loud voice? Good God, I'm mean, going to thank God today for the death, the burial, resurrection. Thank God for the blood of Jesus and the cross. Amen today. Praising God with a loud voice. And he fell on his face. I mean, he got prostrate before God. How he was serious about his thing, thanking God. And he began to um, fell on his face at Jesus' feet, giving thanks. That one, praise God, praise God. That one who knows when he was healed, he began to thank and praise God that he was healed. And he began to praise God, hallelujah, giving him thanks. He said, now when he was a Samaritan, now he was a Samaritan. And then Jesus answered. Were not 10 cleansed? Jesus asked him, so what, were there not 10 that was cleansed? Where are the nine? Today, God is asking the question, where are the nine? I mean, I'm, I want to be the one. I'm the one that's singing, thank you, Jesus, today. Thank you for the blood of Jesus. Thank you for healing. Thank you for deliverance. Thank you, Lord God, for mercy. Thank you for grace. Thank you, God, for my enemies. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to God. Where are the one? Where are the ten? Where is the where are we? Are we saying thank you or are we complaining? Somebody needs to know today that God answers prayer, but he does not answer complaints. And then he says, and Jesus answered and said, Where were not there ten? He cleansed it. Were not ten cleansed? Where are the nine? Was one found to return and give praise to God except the foreigner? And he said unto him, this is what he said unto him. Amen. The one that said, thank you, received a blessing. The one that, was, that said, thank you, didn't just see, receive one blessing. He received a double blessing. Why I said double blessing? Because he was healed. And then God spoke in his life. He said, rise. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Today, somebody needs to rise up. It's time to rise up, up. It's time to press forward in Jesus' name. It's time to move. It's resurrection time in your life today. You got to make the resurrection of Jesus Christ personal. Amen. God wants to resurrect some things in your life. Something that's resurrected means it's dead. Amen. There's no more life in it. But I want you to know today that God has all power in heaven and in earth. Amen. To put resurrection power in you. He has all power how in heaven and earth to put life back in you. Whatever you need in your life to be resurrected, God has the power. So be it according to your faith. He said, rise and go your way. Glory to God. He said, go your way. Your what? Your faith have made you, have made you well. Some, say, some scripture said that your faith has made you whole. Glory. But isn't that powerful? Hallelujah. The, the sad part about it, he healed 10 and only one said thank you. But the one that said thank you received a greater blessing. He said, rise and go your way because your faith has, your faith has made you whole. Glory be to God. As we can see, Jesus cleansed 10 lepers of a horrible disease, but only one returned and said thank you. Can you believe that? Can you believe it's only one that said thank you? Giving thanks, praise God, in all things. Giving thanks in all things shows spiritual maturity. Amen. When you can say thank you, that's not pride. That's, you're not prideful. That's humility. 
When you can't say thank you, that's called pride. Amen. But giving thanks in all things, at all times, show your maturity. Thanking God today for his perfect peace. Isaiah 26 and 3 said, Thou will keep thee in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee because he trusteth in thee. Giving God the praise for his peace. Giving God thanks today for answered prayers. Thank God today for grace. Thank God for forgiveness of sin. Thank God for the blood of Jesus that cleanses us from all our sins. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank God today for hope. Thank God for today for faith. Thank God today for a right relationship with him through Jesus Christ. Thank God today for making provision for us. Thank God today for opening doors. Thank God for opening up the windows of heaven and pouring us out blessings that we don't have room to receive. Thank God today that God has a blessing with your name on it. Amen. Thank to God today that God is an on-time God. Somebody needs to know that God is on time. Amen. Thank God for the breakthrough and deliverance today. Thank God today for mercy. Hallelujah. Glory be God. If it had not been for the Lord on our side, where would we be today? Thank God for mercy. Thank God that he's a helper. Thank God today he is our strength, a present help in time of trouble. Thank God for so many blessings. God has blessed us with so many blessings. Praise God today. We give God thanks. We thank God the Father, our Lord Jesus Christ. Will we pray for you? Because you have heard of your faith in Christ and the love you have you for you all and God's people. Colossians 1, 3, and 4. Giving thanks with a joyful heart. Enter into his presence, enter into his gates with thanksgiving. His presence, his gates, his presence, his presence. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Being thankful. Today we're thanking God this weekend. We're thanking God today for what he's already done. We're thanking God for what he's going to do. We're thanking God for the resurrection. We're thanking God today because God has been good to us. Amen. In the midst of it all, you can say in the midst of the storm, in the midst of the trouble, in the midst of the tribulation, God has been good to you. Somebody can say amen. If you believe God today, say amen. Somebody post, somebody share. Somebody say something. God has been so good to us. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. We just think about all he's done for us. Amen. It's so many. Praise God. He's not even being to be here this year to see the resurrection. Hallelujah weekend. But I'm giving God the praise today while the blood of Jesus is still running warm in my veins. I'm giving God the praise today. Praise God while I still have time. Because we don't know the day. We don't know the time. We don't know the hour. But one thing I always say and I I do know Jesus is on his way back. Amen. And I want to be ready when he comes. Amen. Praise God to whom all blessings flow. And we see that God, with God was so impressed. Praise God with the one that gave thanks. But he was also hurt because he already knew that the other, the other nine was not going to say anything. Glory. Have you ever done something for someone and you know you've done it from your heart? You gave your all and all. And they couldn't even say thank you. That is hurtful. Amen. We should always say thank you. When somebody do something for you, you do something for you, your brothers, your sisters, you should say thank you. Amen. Glory be to God. God and heal them. On their way, they were healed. On their way, moving, going about their business. I want you to know today, 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 you say, you know, I'm still going through this and that. I'm still having pain. I want you to go on about your way. Keep on moving. Keep on going. I want you to know today that God is healing you. It's so be according to your faith. And when he does heal you, and when he gives you no breakthrough in deliverance, just remember to say thank you. Remember to say, God, thank you. Devote yourself to prayer and being watchful and thankful, Colossians 4 and 2. Be thankful. Be grateful. Praise God. There's blessings in the obedience of thankfulness. There's blessings, praise God, in your thankfulness. It's blessings in being grateful. Amen. But it's also curse. And being disgraceful. Hallelujah. We want to be thankful people because God, Hallelujah, is a God of mercy. He's a God of grace. And we want to say thank you today to Jesus. Thank you today for our brothers and sisters. Thank you today for the people. Thank you today for the body of Christ. And as I always say, thank God for your enemies. The Bible tells you to pray for your enemies and those that spitefully use you. Amen. Praise God to whom all blessings flow. The joy of the Lord. Nehemiah 8 and 10 says, the joy of the Lord is your what? Strength. When you express gratitude, you get, in, you get strength. Amen. When you begin to appreciate God and appreciate what he's doing. It's, it's not happy people. Listen to this. It's not happy people who are thankful. It is thankful people who are happy. Let me read that one more time. Quotation. It is not happy people who are thankful. It is thankful people who are happy. Lord, have mercy Jesus. Amen. Thank God today for the joy of the Lord is our strength. Thank God to the, to the joy is unspeakable and full of glory. But this is saying it's not happy people who are thankful. It is thankful people 
Glory be to God, who are happy. Amen. Praise God. Silent gratitude does, doesn't do much for anyone. Amen. It does nothing. So we need to give God praise. We need to give him thanks. Hallelujah. For his grace, for his mercy, for his love, for the blood that he shed. There's so much we can thank God for. Thanking God that we was able to take care of ourselves. Thank God for making provisions for us. Thank God for being our source. Praise God and everything else, our resource. Being thankful keeps us, keep our focus off of ourselves. When you are thankful, it keeps your focus off of yourselves and on what God and the others do for you. Listen, being thankful, keep your focus off yourselves, ourselves, and on what God and other people do for us. Amen. Thou will keep thee in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee because he trusted in thee. Isaiah 26 and 3. That's just in my spirit today. Praise God to whom all blessings flow. Psalms 103 and 2 says, talks about the benefits, forget not the benefits, giving God the praise for the benefits. God has so many benefits and so many promises. And we all know that the promises of God are yes and amen. Amen. I just want to come on today and say thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus. Amen. I didn't want to be like the, the, the nine lepers that didn't return and say thank you. Amen. I want to tell the Lord thank you. And I want to say thank you to his people. Thanking, thanking him, thanksgiving, thanking God is a type of praise. We enter into the gates. When you enter into his gates, that means his presence. You come into his courts with praise on your lips. What Psalms 104, 104, Psalms 100, verse number four. He said, enter into his gates with thanksgiving and come into his courts with praise. You need to come in already, already and go. Praise God. We come into his presence. We need to come already, ready to praise God, ready to exalt his name, coming with expectation, ready to glorify God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I'm thankful today. Amen. Thankful for the one that reminded us to always say thank you. Amen. Amen. What a sad situation. He, he, he healed 10 of them and only one said thank you. I want you to know today, whatever you do in word or deed, do it all in the name of Jesus. So if nobody don't ever say thank you, and if nobody don't ever pat you on your back, glory to God. Know that God has a blessing with your name on it. And God's going to reward you in due time for your faithfulness. Somebody to know, continue to be faithful. Be faithful, be faithful to God, and he is going to reward you. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus, for the grace. Thank you, God, today for your mercy. Thank you today for healing. I can't say thank you enough today. Amen. When you just begin to think about all that God has done for you, you cannot do anything else but say thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus. God is on time. Somebody needs to know that today, that God is on time and God is working in your behalf. This is for somebody today. Lord, I thank you and I praise you today for your grace. I thank you today for the leper. The lepers were cleansed and healed. I want to thank you today for the one that came and said thank you. I want to thank you today for reminding us in the body of Christ to be thankful. Holly, I want to thank you today, God, for answering our prayers. I want to thank you for your grace and for your mercy. I want to thank you for the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus shed on Calvary for our sins. I want to say thank you today. Thank you, Lord God, for what you're doing. Thank you, God, what you're already doing. And thank you, God, for what you're going to do. Thank you today, Lord, for salvation. For those that don't know you today, Lord God. Lord, I extend holy salvation to them today. You're the only one can save. You're the only one can heal. You're the only one can deliver and set free. So, Father, in Jesus' name, hallelujah, I open hallelujah, up those that do not know you. To repent of their sins today. Ask Jesus, hallelujah, to forgive you your sins. Believe in his death, his burial, and his resurrection. What a great, probably a blessing it could be today to give your life to Christ on this resurrection weekend. On this Good Friday, we call it Amen Celebration and Remembrance of his, of his death, his burial, and his resurrection. What a day this would be, praise God. Say, welcome, welcome, welcome. Say, thank you, thank you, Jesus, for those who are going to come into the kingdom of God. Well, say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your son, your only son. That you gave for all of us for the sin, did no, had no sin, but took on my sins and your sins. I want to say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for the suffering that you took on the cross. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God for your mercy. Thank you for your love. Thank you, Jesus. For hallelujah. Thank you for getting up. Hallelujah. Thank you that you're not on the cross anymore, but you got up on the third day with all power in heaven and in earth. Thank you today, Jesus. Lord, I just said thank you today for your resurrection. Thank you for your grace, Lord God. All of my son and my spirit says, thank you, thank you, thank you. We love you, God. We adore you. 
in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I just want to encourage you today. It's a spirit of excellent praying, teaching, ministry, and loves you. We appreciate you. We thank God for you today. Thank God for your faithfulness. God is going to reward you for your faithfulness and the love that you have shown towards his name. Hallelujah. I want you to know that God, hallelujah, has a blessing. Hallelujah with your name on it. Glory be to God. Spirit of excellence, praying and teaching ministry. Prophet Charlene Miles Christ. You know, you know, you know. Love you, love you, love you. In Jesus' mighty name. Please share. Please post. Please encourage someone. Amen. Amen. And this weekend, do something for someone else this weekend. Hallelujah. Let somebody know you appreciate them. Let them know that you love them. And you're saying thank you. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Is our prayer. Is our petition. This week, as we go out to continue this month, with our thank you powerful challenge. Amen. To remind us to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Spirit of excellence, prophets, Charlie Miles Price. Love you, love you, love you.